Uh, here we go. Let's get into it. Nakati Home Builder. We talked about this guy a couple of weeks ago. Accused of abandoning projects. Didn't show up in court. Oops. Oops. I think Shocker. that's a little he more than to show up in, He forgot to show up at his job sites, too. <laughs> yeah, he's forgetting sounds to show like, up at a lot of places. Sounds like a pattern. Yeah. Despite the subpoena requiring his attendance. St. John's County Custom Home Builder Spencer Calvert really sucks that he is destroying a good the good name of uh, people named Spencer. Mm-hmm. Honestly, every other Spencer I know is a great human being. Facing accusations of abandoning projects in Nocatee, he failed to appear in court Monday to address personal lawsuits filed against him by nine homeowners. Calvert is the president of Pineapple Corporation. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I don't think that corporation is going to exist much longer. Uh, he was arrested in February on charges including embezzlement of construction funds and organized schemes to defraud amounting to over $15 million. $15 million bucks. The court session forced on Calvert's requests for... Uh, focused, I'm sorry, on Calvert's request for arbitration in the personal lawsuits with the opposing counsel subpoenaing him to attend to no avail. Uh, While the judge postponed the decision on arbitration, citing the need for more time, the absence of Calvert left homeowners like Lisa Sparta and reality TV star Captain Sandy Yawn. Mm -hmm. Hi, Captain Sandy. Frustrated. (laughs) and seeking answers about their unfinished homes and missing funds. Uh, Investigators revealed that Calvert's... Sound off. You didn't say it. That's the issue. You didn't say it this morning. Yeah, put a nickel in the jar. I'm I'm fully my fault. (laughs) (laughs) Investigators revealed revealed that Calvert's failure to pay subcontractors resulted in over $900,000 in liens against homeowners. Wow. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Meanwhile, State Attorney R.J. Larizza assured ongoing efforts to uncover the whereabouts of the misappropriated funds. Um, despite facing criminal charges, Calvert aims to settle disputes through arbitration. How about we pay the money back? Right. How about That's you pay the way to it? settle the dispute? Right. Or finish their house. And finish the house, yeah. A move contested by homeowners attorney James Gonzalez. Gonzalez emphasized the contractual obligation for completion by 2023. A little late for that. Mm -hmm. A clause allegedly disregarded by Calvert. This guy really sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm real scumbag. But I tell you, Pete, we talked about something, not this case, but something similar yesterday, right, for Troy, when we were talking about the liens, Mm -hmm. and somebody, like, held somebody's, uh, what was it, the the title, hostage for, like, 20 grand. I mean, like, what's going on in this industry? RJ Larissa's on fire about it. There's a lot of fraud and craziness going on. Mm -hmm. Sounds like he's busy. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it sounds like uh, the subcontractors aren't getting paid, too, so that's where some of these liens are probably coming from. Right, right. You know, he's probably not paying the pool guy or the siding guy or, yeah. you know, the painter or one the of those roofer. guys. And if you do, you do what's called a notice of commencement at the beginning of a project, then that allows them to put a lien on the house so they make sure they get paid. Right. So, mm. um, you know, and you, and you can't get a building permit without a notice of commencement. So Ooh. he's he's leaving... All his people in the lurch. Yeah, everybody. Yep. Just everybody involved, man. That really sucks. Um, so let's hope they can track this guy down and get him in court. Answer for his uh, terribleness. All right. Anybody else? Anything else? No, we're good. There we can uh, pass just, that one on. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, Captain Sandy. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah, nice I mean, lady. It, it, it's it's so awful. It's you know like. I redid my bathroom recently and like it took a couple weeks more than what I wanted it to do. Mm. And it's such an inconvenience. Like, yeah, I know. know, Like, you know, there was times where I didn't have a sink in the bathroom and, and it was just like, uh, luckily I always had a toilet. Reminds me of money pit. (laughs) Remember that movie? Oh yeah. No, no. Yeah. yeah, One of the Tom Hanks greats. That's a great movie. Shelly Long. (laughs) You live in a money pit. Is that the song for that movie? No, that's just a separate song. (laughs) Separate song. All right. Nice. All right. Well, yeah. Terrible person. Terrible.